Hello and welcome to another episode of the How to CEO Show. Today I'm delighted to be joined by Eddie from Project Is Pecunity. And Eddie is looking at putting assets, um, including gold and potentially real estate, on the blockchain. So Eddie, tell us more about your project. Sure, I'd be happy to. Yeah, so uh, I'm working with a partner who is uh, a former banking regulator, has a lot of experience in the space with real assets. Uh, we've been working on the project for a little over a year. We are looking at building a stable coin that is tied initially to gold and silver, uh, with real gold and silver being used to back. And then, as you mentioned, eventually working hopefully with the uh, US SEC to get them past some of their understanding issues um, and be able to move real estate and real assets into coins as well so that people can share in real estate as another option. So why this? Why, why a stable coin backed by gold and silver? Well, uh, as some people might know, uh, the majority of global currencies used to be backed by gold and silver. Now uh, they're backed by hopes and dreams. And this is an opportunity to get back to a coin that is tied directly to physical assets. So there is a set value based on the market value of the assets behind it. Um, is, you know, gold and silver is a pretty stable, pretty predictable asset to start with. And then obviously real estate being a, a very challenging for people. Uh, there's a couple of companies who've tried to build a coin around real estate, but it's caused all kinds of issues with the SEC and the IRS um, and the U.S. specifically. And that's made it less likely for people to do it. So we've been working, like I said, I partner with a guy who's a regulator in the space, knows a lot of these people. We've been pushing this uh, rock up the hill for a while, but it's something that really needs to be done and someone needs to be first so that it makes it easier for others. And so how are you going to, how are you going to start this? Are you, are you, Personally, sitting on a on a large pile of gold. Um, I'm not currently sitting on that here at the office, but as a company, we are sitting on a stockpile of physical gold and silver bars um, that are going to be used to back this initial swing at the you know releasing the coin, and then over time, there's a, a deal already in place with a couple of mints to be able to produce more gold and silver to continue the growth trajectory on that. And like I said, if we get through the government making some decisions. And uh, unfortunately, our president has made it harder with his current executive order, but hopefully there's a little more understanding that develops out of that. And when things are clarified, make it a little bit easier to get some regulations in place where people understand what it is and we can move forward with the real, real assets as well. So what do you see as the utility for this? How, how will uh, people specifically use this and, and why will they use this over uh, USCC um, uh, uh, coin, for example? Yeah, well, I mean, part of it is that you have the opportunity to share in an asset. If you can't afford to have you know, gold bricks sitting in your safe, you have a company who is an asset holder who will hold those for you and you have your share of those so you can participate in the market without having to you know, have all the money on hand to go buy gold bricks or be safe in your house or business or wherever it happens to be to be able to store all those assets. Uh, this gives a, a central storage facility for those that are sitting in. Well, now people tend to do that in uh, you know, IRAs that have gold backing or those sort of things where someone's holding it. This gives you the ability to do it in a coin so that you can participate or you can exit your participation when you want to based on your trigger versus a retirement account that's very specific to a time and date when you're able to access those funds. That, that's excellent. And then when do you hope to go live with this? What's your, what's your um, trajectory to market? We're, we're trying to get some of those early conversations. We, we have a conversation with a regulator coming up next month. Um, to try to get some of those conversations on the real estate market because we need to build the coin in a specific way if we're going to move towards real estate being included in the same coin versus if we're going to keep it on a gold and silver standard and then you know possibly have to develop a separate coin in the future. So within the next month, we will have some more clarity after some meetings in DC about how this is going to go. And then 
we can make a decision on that. Um, as far as the chain, uh, the private chain for the recording and ledger side, that's all based on Hyperledger, which I've been a part of for a long time. And that will be, we could spin that up anytime. That's all ready to go. The public side of it, depending on some of these decisions that we may have to make, there's a, a lean towards going to Ethereum too, but it may need to change based on some of the things we discover through the regulation and those sort of things, or we may need to go to an offshore location to build a coin home for a company that would house that coin in a DeFi friendly country. Malta probably being my first choice based on our past experience with some other stuff we're building, but you know, maybe somewhere else, but we may have to look at that to avoid some of these complexities if the regulators aren't keeping up with what needs to be done to make this work. So there's a couple of those decisions that need to be put in place first. Obviously, if your coin's going to be hosted out of another country, you got to set up that operating unit in that country and go through that process, which you know may take some time. But the goal is to have launched by fall of this year with the uh, initial coins being available on whatever uh, backing we are able to get to at that point. So there will be something launched later this year in the fall. And, and where's the community for this uh, project currently? Uh, well, the people who are doing the work are globally distributed. So I have a team that's here in Colorado where I live. There's a team that's working on it in, um, well, was working on it from Ukraine, now working on it from Poland. They've been working on a lot of the, the heavier blockchain related components for what needs to be done for the interoperability and that my team here is working on the data privacy and security and the hyperledger chain side and the chain uh, translation work. So that's all going through the that process of development. As far as uh, we've been working with a number of members of the hyperledger community to get some changes into the core platform as well, would make this much easier from a, a chain interface conversation over time. So there's work going on on that side too. And is there a, a Telegram or Discord group or, or Twitter that people can follow to it to, to follow this project? Um, not currently, but that's coming. It won't be on Twitter, I assure you. But there definitely will be a Telegram community uh, launched as well as our Slack community for our developers that's tied to the Hyperledger work that's going on. So do also have a lot of conversations going on in the Hyperledger communities, specifically for Fabric because that's what we're using to tie a lot of this together on the private chain side. And so where are some of the communities um, outside those, the, the sort of broader communities that you engage with that, uh, that you think are also doing great projects in this space? Yeah, well, there's, there's a whole lot of communities. Like, like I've mentioned Hyperledger a few times, right? I've been involved in that since it started uh, with a bunch of guys out of Intel uh, and doing a lot of work there. And we've helped to move forward some of the specific compute capabilities that Intel's built around blockchain um, and even some secure compute pods uh, designs that have been necessary to move us forward to be able to do this in a, a green eco-friendly kind of way rather than the, you know, racking up big Amazon bills and polluting the environment. Especially on the another project I'm working on my, on the carbon credit coins, that that's also very important that you're not then producing a whole bunch of carbon emissions in making that coin safe. So uh, there's a lot of work going on there uh, with the Hyperledger community, the Intel community, um, on building out better solutions. Uh, I mean, I know a lot of the press it gets is around block. Uh, Bitcoin mining on the, the chain, but that's not yes. our purpose. It's more running the chain in a environmentally friendly and, and safe kind of way. And those, there's a couple of communities on Telegram for that. There's also an Intel community specifically around this uh, blockchain compute technology that they've built and are releasing new iterations of pretty soon. And we've been very deeply involved in that since the beginning. And if people want to reach out and help you, what, what, how can people help you? What are you looking for help with? And then how do they connect with you? Sure. Um, connecting with me, <laughs> there's a lot of ways to find me. My phone number is even on Google if you Google me. So it's not that hard. But my kind of core company that we're working on all this from is uh, Colorado Innovation. So Eddie, E-D-D-I-E, at 
colorado-innovation.com. Um, and that's kind of some of the core team that's building a bunch of these projects out. The Pecunity stuff is not set up yet with a specific email. Like I said, that's all going to be coming out the next month once we get past this regulatory thing is we got to figure out where the entity has to live to be DeFi friendly and not um, onerous to get this out there yes. because there's we have a lot of people that are very interested in being involved in it. It's just uh, how they do it that doesn't get them in trouble or us in trouble. And that's that's the goal of all that. Um, so it, it's pretty easy to find me. You look for Eddie Satterly. You can even Google me. I'm pretty easy to find. Excellent. Well, I hope you get lots of people uh, following up with this. Eddie, thank you very much for being on the show. Absolutely. My pleasure. Thank you. I'm Murray Newlands. You've been listening to the How to CEO Show. I'll see you next time. Yeah.